Let's go over catch basins, all the things that I think are important. I just want to point these things out to you and go over them. This right here is a four inch catch basin. You see four inch in, four inch out. This is three inch, three inch in, three inch out. This catch basin has this universal adapter, three or four inch. Three inch goes in here, four inch goes in here. The problem I see with this is it restricts four inch pipe. You're necking down three inch pipe. You see the three inch? Now if it's a three inch system through and through, that's fine. If it's a four inch system through and through, I don't wanna compromise my system. I might be at my four inch pipes limit already for volume. So I don't care for that. And then guys are putting silicone on these and letting it dry, hoping to get a good hold. That doesn't work that well in my opinion. These are all things that I learned as a contractor of 38 years now. I also hated these big 12 by 12s because earthworms would always end up falling in these things. I hated it because if you had to stick your hand in this, there's nothing worse than the smell of rotten earthworms. I can't emphasize that enough, how nasty that is. So that's why I like a turf restrictor. Now, if you have a three inch pipe, why would you need a 12 by 12? Just do a four inch grate. You're not gonna overwhelm a three inch pipe. Have a turf restrictor for the rest of that area so the worms don't fall in. Again, this used to drive me crazy. I hated doing a big bucket hole like this. Now, if I had a machine that was digging a trench of some kind, I had a nice trench. You know, that's why we went ahead and designed these catch basins that have these single and double. This one here is our four-way. Love this. This is our torrential rain, four-way connect, catch basin. We just absolutely love it. You just slip on whatever coupler it is you need, whether it's three inch or four inch. If you need a four inch cap or four inch grate, if you need a six inch grate or a six inch cap, no problem. Do the math, do the math. Six inch inlet for two four inch pipes. Why do you need 12 by 12? I don't get it. Not in a lawn. If you're gonna pave this in the middle of a parking lot, okay. You're gonna put six inch pipe on it? Okay. I just, I don't get it. None of it adds up. None of it ever made sense to me. It just made work for me. Pickaxing that in, this big bucket, and then it doesn't have the sump capacity. Now this, this right here has two and a quarter gallons of sump. It's only five inches wide and it fits in a trench made by a trencher. You can go to the rental store, trench in your line and all this stuff just drops right in. Another thing that drove me nuts as a drainage contractor was these screws. When you go to service these, you're gonna lose these screws. I don't mind having to take a screwdriver out to service my catch basins, but I hate these little screws. You're gonna lose them, guaranteed, you're gonna lose them. I know this, it's a fact. Any contractor can tell you that. So that's why we designed all of ours to where they just press right on, and they seat right in. You can pop them right off, clean your catch basin, then just go ahead and press this in. It, everything's a pressed fit. And yeah, you might need a screwdriver to come in here on our turf restrictor plate and pop it out. No big deal. No screws to get lost in the lawn. And oh yeah, don't worry about all those earthworms that are gonna just stink up your yard. You're gonna have this giant mosquito hatchery full of earthworms putting off this pungent odor. And yeah, you're gonna have to stick your shop vacuum in there or your hand and clean that out. Or you can go with a turf restrictor plate. You don't end up with all the earthworms. So you don't have that pungent odor, that terrible smell. You don't have this giant area that's just full of liabilities. Now you just have a really nice part, really clean part to prevent the grass from growing over your grate or your solid cover so that you have a way to access and maintain your catch basin. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports what we're doing. If you have any questions regarding this catch basin, leave them in the comments section. 
I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.